Hey, hey, mayday to you guys. We're back. Tappan Lake again. July, uh, what, 13th or something like that, uh, Tuesday. Nice overcast day, little sun here and there. Water temperature's about 82, so it's up there. But what we're gonna try to do right now is uh, throw a tube and uh, maybe go from there. I'm gonna Texas rig a tube, throw it out where I was at the other day and see if we can't get something going like that. And if uh, tube's not hitting, maybe we'll do a little jigging. Who knows? Let's just do something. Let's catch some fish. Show you guys what the tube looks like. It's not weighted. We're not doing a weighted Texas rig. Just Texas rigged it with an extra wide gap, two odd hook. Give us a little spot. I text posed it a little bit and I'm just going to throw it around and drag it. Give it a little up and down. Let that uh, skirt kind of flail a little bit in the water. So let's do it and let's uh, rock and roll it. Check it out. Perfect. Not gonna be fishing it that deep in water. So hopefully it's got enough weight to get down. Probably with the water a little hotter, probably need to do something. Maybe a, might have to put a weight on it because it seems like everything I'm watching on uh, YouTube, they're talking about bass are hitting faster things. So this falling very softly might not be the ticket, but we're going to try it out. Well, throw in the tube. Here comes the rain. Boy, it's coming hard too. I can see it. I can't believe it's coming this way. It's coming north or heading northwest. We're gonna get drenched, guys. So there's gonna be a pause. <laughs> I'm pretty sure of it. Hopefully there's no lightning because I'll sit here in a torrential downpour. I've got rain gear on, but uh, can't get the camera wet. Well, I stuck the bimini up, as you can see. So that's nice, but just check out this rain coming across here. It's unbelievable. There's somebody out there getting soaked, and it's going to be pouring here in about five seconds. We're going to really be in a downpour. Oh, well, as long as it doesn't lightning, I'm fine. So in as quick as the rain came, about three minutes to five minutes later, it's gone check out i was nice and dry plus i had my rain oh no may day <coughs> let's hope it stays away we got fish to catch well guys we came yeah, in we got a small. got a small mouth over here we just came in because it's starting to rain these guys were going to put in but they decided to throw a little bit here until the rain passes and uh, then put out. But we've got a lot of darkness coming. The rain's starting to sprinkle in on us. And he caught that smallmouth on a tube. So I'm fishing the right bait. Well, guys, we're in a rain delay. Starting to really come down out there. I'll show you here. Well, guys, we're in a rain delay. Just coming down out there. I don't know what time it is, but hopefully this stuff clears out in the next, I don't know, 20 minutes. I'll show you guys the radar. Hey 
You can see on where the blue dot is. Looks like heavy stuff's a little east of us, but we're still in this a uh, little bit of a rain delay. So, couldn't believe that guy, man. Third cast, well, second cast, he was getting something. He felt like he had a hit. He thought he had a snag, and he missed it. Threw right back in. He nailed it. Smallmouth. I was so proud of him. That was awesome. Let's give him a round of applause. Yeah, good job out there, Bill Ott. Bill Ott. So, Bill, that one was for you. I'll tell you what, when I get back out there, guys, I am going to start nailing this uh, tube, jigging it up and down, up and down. Weather looks like it's starting to clear, but there's some storms behind this one, so we're going to get a chance to get out there and fish a little bit, so let's go. Hey, guys, just ran into another... Another fisherman out here says he watches vids and everything. So, what's your name, Dan? Dan. Yep. Dan. Not a yep. subscriber though. I will be. He's got to get on there. <laughs> He's got to subscribe. A lot of you guys aren't subscribers, and you, I run into you. Tell me you've you've watched. Hit the subscribe. It's free, man. You don't have to hit that notif. You don't have to do the notification bell and all that stuff and get bothered. But one thing about the advantage of hitting the subscribe. It'll kind of make sure that my videos come in your recommendation for you to watch, you know, uh, hopefully. But anyway, Dan, I think he's packing it in. Dan, what do you think? Yeah, it's, uh, the boat's mostly broke, and uh, the uh, rain is uh, pushing me out. Okay. <laughs> well, you heard it here. Dan, Dan is officially done. Yep. I'm officially, and you are officially coming back out. Well, I'll show you guys kind of what's nice about tapping here. There's the parking lot. There's the boat ramp right here. And then they have this little tie up uh, docks. The restrooms right here. And uh, what's nice, you can tie up if a storm comes, go sit in your truck or just tie up. If the ramp is uh, being heavily used, um, you can tie up here and then come and get your boat. So that's really nice. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get back on the boat. Looks like we've got a little bit of clear weather to fish so let's do it by the way guys i wanted to let you know that if you want to fish tapping there's a tournament here every tuesday night it goes from five or five o'clock till 9 30 and uh as it starts getting darker and the getting towards the fall hours they move it back to eight o'clock five to eight or eight thirty uh, depending on how much time you have to fish but it's twenty dollars your first time you ever enter and then only $10 from then on. So a new participant, he can get in for 20 bucks. And at the end of, or after that, it's $10. At the end of the year, the money left over, it'll be split up by ounces, depending on what, what you caught, um, I think during that last tournament. And that'll be split up that way. I think that's how he does it. So. I don't know, either way, it's just fun to get out and do something like that. I'm not really a bass tournament type guy, um, but who knows, I might try one here and there. If I can get a partner, I'd love to do it. Gone back to throwing the old reliable skirted jig with a craw on it. I am just seeing millions of fish, and big one. Ah, I'm seeing a lot of fish right now. catch one well it's raining again drizzling not that bad but figured i'd take a lunch break and eat a granola bar chunky chocolate chip can't beat that anyway i'm trolling right now got the trolling motor going up front and i'm just under the bimity you can hear the rain probably clicking away Anyway, raining on, on and off, on and off. Can't really get in a rhythm, but uh, hoping this rain will get the fish to, to start biting in the next hour or two. It's only about four o'clock. I'll probably fish until another three hours. 
like I said, I don't want to leave until I catch a fish. I'm five for five at this lake. <laughs> Mayday. Oh, yeah. Double fluky. Double fluke. Mm -hmm. We will take him, baby. We will take him. It's about time. I think they might be hitting. It's what? Almost 5.30, so could be dinner time. What do you think, guys? Double fluke? Back one. Well, that's my first tapping fish on a double fluke. Threw it on these logs over here. And kind of bounced it around. I think there's more in there, though. And they will hit white. <laughs> Thank golly. I was beginning to worry about if this, these fish would hit white or if that was just a Leesville thing. Ha <laughs> ha, made it. Oh well. You can see these logs over here. I'm seeing a ton of fish, but these logs right there, there's a lot of they're down in the water and whenever I bring this uh, fluke kind of over the top of these logs it seems like they're striking like that let's get another one oh yeah baby got him with a stick boy he hit hard too <laughs> that's not even going in the video <laughs> you'll never see it yeah you probably will guys it's about 6 30 on the nose here 6 31 actually and uh i'm right over by those docks i showed you the boat ramps right behind us and seeing a lot of fish i'm just i'm jigging a, a craw on a skirted jig old reliable I lost a fish on it already trying to get the camera on I had a fish on and uh, lost him because the stupid remote control I gotta get a new remote control these these things are garbage garbage well guys heading home seven o'clock Heading home and uh, going to get something to eat. I'll tell you what, that was a fun day out there. Um, kind of sucked raining on and off, but other than that, had a lot of fun. Only caught one, but you know what? Ah, it's that time of year, and they've got a tournament out there, and I'll tell you, I don't think those guys are going to catch too much of anything either. They're just not biting. The water's like 83, 82 degrees. And uh, I threw jigs, I threw, uh, you know, worms at the end, I threw uh, just everything, man. I mean, minnows, jig to minnow, um, tube, fluke, that's what I actually caught the bass on was a fluke. And, uh, oh, I did catch another one, um, jig, on my jig, but couldn't get the camera to go on and lost tension on while I was playing with the remote, lost tension on the old uh, uh, the old pull, and next thing I know, he was gone. He, he was only a little one anyway. But, you know, I would have liked to had him. I'd have liked to had him and welcomed him to the boat. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, a lot of you guys aren't subscribed, like I said, and uh, doesn't hurt to subscribe to everybody. You don't get charged for it, so it's free subscribe to my channel i'd love to have you until next time mayday is out of here